Hey guys, welcome back to my kitchen. Yes, we are in my kitchen today for today's video and don't mind that I'm wearing the same thing as my last intro. It's just because um, I'm pre-filming. So because of popular request by my last video, you guys asked me to do a substitution video. Like what do I swap out in my fridge and in my pantry that are healthier substitutions to food that I really, really like? Really, the best way to get healthy is to change what you're eating. You can work out a ton, take it from me, you can work out a ton, but if you eat the wrong foods, it's either A, just gonna cover up while you're working out, or B, it's just gonna eventually catch up to you. Abs are made in the kitchen, not the gym, so it's very important to look at what you're putting into your body. So I'm gonna take you guys through my pantry, through my cabinets, and through my fridge, sort of like a what's in my fridge, pantry cabinets thing, and also what substitutions I would always like to substitute out certain things for, just as healthier alternatives. And this is just a really easy way to still have the foods that you like, but just eat them healthier. If you guys are new to my channel, hello, welcome back. Join the Stalling Fam, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I upload new videos all the time. And if you guys are part of my Stalling Fam, welcome back, I miss you guys so much. So we're first gonna start off with flowers. Now, normally, most people have all-purpose white baking flour. So I actually just used up the last of mine, but this is what the alternative that I would recommend to use. Paleo baking flour, I think it's amazing. I really like the, I think it's like the big reds or the red mills or something like that. I'll insert a picture of it right here. But I think this is really, really amazing flour just because one, it's paleo, so it doesn't have any added sugar. The ingredients are really, really amazing. You can read all of the ingredients. And because it's paleo, it doesn't make me bloat. Um, I know a lot of people also really like almond flour, almond meal, um, coconut flour. So look at alternatives. Even whole wheat flour is better than all-purpose white baking flour. That's just like... So for sugar, most people have this white refined sugar. Um, it's actually, it like terrifies me to be completely honest because this is just sugar that has been so stripped down and so overly processed. I never use that. An alternative for that sugar, you can use sugar alternatives in any baking recipe, I just wanna remind you. Coconut sugar is a better option. My favorite sweetener of choice is agave. I love agave really just because it's raw. Now let's move over into my fridge and let's talk about some substitutions. So first thing that I would recommend is dairy. Substitute all of your dairy for non-dairy. That is huge for me, in my opinion. I think dairy is killer. So I'm very anti-dairy, but that's just my personal opinion. I do also give you dairy options that are healthier if you guys really like dairy. But let's start at the top here. The first one is milk. So I would always recommend to ditch the dairy milk, get rid of the cow milk, and switch over to almond milk, coconut milk, Soy milk is fine. Soy milk is just very much so soy, and soy isn't always the best for the, especially the female body, it's not always the best. Macadamia nut milk is really good. There's a ton of different milks that you guys can be drinking. It's time to quit the cow milk. Now I'll talk about butters, and in like baking, you can use applesauce in case, in place of butter. You can use like coconut oils and stuff like that. I always prefer vegan butters whenever I do need to use a butter. So this is Earth Balance. This is a vegan butter. This one's okay. It's not my favorite. This one is my favorite because this is the Earth Balance Soy Free Dairy Free Vegan Butter and it's really amazing. I think it tastes really good. The ingredients are kind of chemical-y which kind of freaks me out a little bit. So there is a fine line that I think between like vegan products that are just chemicals to avoid animal products and then like the all natural stuff that maybe does have some animal products in it but it's still it it's not just chemicals so that's where i'm like torn because i'm like Do I animals or chemicals like what like that's where it gets sort of tricky so that's really just where it comes down to you and what you want in your body but another option would be ghee and that's i've never i've never had it because dairy but um, it's a very good health option if you're like a health nut, try ghee. Sorry if anything looked like it just changed. I had to just switch out my cameras because the other one was dying and I wanted to keep, go keep on going because I'm on a roll right now. Something that I do want to talk about is watch the added sugars. They are everywhere. Ketchup, for example, this Heinz has added sugar and it has high fructose corn syrup in it, which is horrible for you. But pasta sauces always have a ton of sneaky cheeses and added sugars in there. I really like this one because this is what it looks like. The ingredients are ground tomatoes, extra virgin olive oil, onions, garlic, sea salt, and spices. So it's just very something that you would even whip up in your own kitchen just to have like when you're in a pinch and you want to eat something real quick. Eggs. Let's talk about eggs. Let's talk about meat. Let's talk about fish. I highly suggest that you switch over to organic meat, 
pasture-raised, grass-fed, free-range. Do research on where you get your meat. It's very easy to do your research. I really like this brand of eggs. I think that they do a pretty good job. You can really tell a difference on the eggs though based on the color of the yolk. When they're very like not fresh, organic, good eggs, they're very yellow yolk. And when they are, they're more of like a deeper, rich, orangey yolk. So you can kind of tell that way. My favorite way to get eggs is through locals or people that I know. But there's this farm up the street where I go and I'll pick up eggs. So eggs are easy to get a hold of um really get to know your farms get to know your local farmers guys be their friend also when it comes to meats and stuff do your research on where your meat is coming from potatoes always switch whenever you can switch out your gold or white potatoes for a sweet potato sweet potatoes are just much better for you they're way more nutrient dense and they're just overall better and i personally think they taste better oh i did forget one yogurts this is the kind that i really like but also if you do eat dairy siggies um I'm hearing is great yogurt in the health nut industry world. Up here, let's talk a little bit. So when it comes to cooking sprays, whether you're gonna do canola oil for like a non-stick thing, canola, canola oil, I always like to substitute it out for coconut oil, does the same thing, non-stick, and it's just a little more natural. Let's get more into the oils here. So instead of canola oil, grab the avocado oil, okay? Healthy fats in here and it's a little more expensive oils are going to be more pricey but they're worth it all right so now we're over here we're venturing into my pantry area this is where i keep like some of my snacks and stuff peanut butter okay peanut butters try and get you they really do they put in high fructose corn syrup and molasses and sugar and all this stuff that makes it taste so much better so Watch out for that. My favorite kind is the Santa Cruz Organic. Peanut butter is freaking annoying because it does cost a pretty penny if you do want to have good peanut butter. I think this retails for like $6.49 or something like that at Wegmans. But the reason that I like this one is because the ingredients are organic roasted peanuts and contains one or less percent of salt. This one doesn't get dry. This oil, like I don't know what, it, like it never, even at the very bottom of the jar, which I've had a problem with with every other brand except for this one, they all get very dry. But this one stays moist and it stays a really good consistency. Let's talk about oats. I know all my college girlies and even my not college girlies love the packeted oatmeal. Don't get me wrong, as do I. I think it tastes amazing, it tastes really, really good, but it's just full of sugar and extra stuff that you don't need. So honestly, just get original Quaker Oats, and um, this doesn't even have to be, look, you can even get the quick one minute kind. These ingredients, you ready for it? The ingredients of this, whole grain rolled oats. Who would have thought? Get the original, get it raw, get it right. Ooh, yes, let's talk about pastas. Pastas, I know, are a big thing that a lot of people love to eat. So I have two favorite pastas here. Um, the first one, these are just Wegmans organic pastas. Any grocery store will sell stuff like this. It could say like Kroger or Publix or Giant or Ralph's or like whatever your grocery store is. It's literally just gonna change the label name. But all these ingredients are is organic whole wheat sal salmonella and water and that's it so it's just wheat and water and it's made into a noodle and then this is another really kind this is sold in all grocery stores a barilla and these ingredients are salmonella which is wheat and then durum wheat flour so these i think is better but if you gotta do some sort of pasta go with this Another really good one is when it's made from chickpeas because that gives you a lot of plant-based protein. Oh, this is something else. If you guys like grated cheese over top of a lot of your foods, try switching out for nutritional yeast. Sounds kind of crazy, but it tastes like cheese and it gives like a cheesy texture to stuff. When it comes to stuff like pancake batter or cookies or brownie batter, cake batter, all the store-bought pre-made stuff ditch it just make your own it's way better you can always add substitutes you can always make it healthier and i think personally when it's made from home made with love it tastes better those are pretty much all my tips i really hope this was a good guide or a good help for you guys to switch out a lot of what people keep in their fridge or what people have like normally on hand and how just to give healthier alternatives now just start small with a few of these things and you know work up towards it if you're gonna do salad dressings make sure there isn't any sugar added in you know just simple stuff like that just start to be conscious of what you're putting in your body watch health documentaries watch all that stuff it really does help but yeah i hope you guys all enjoyed this video if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below if you guys want more videos like this 
and yeah, I will let you guys go. Enjoy the rest of your day. Subscribe if you aren't already, and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye. Please like, share, subscribe my channel, and do not forget to press the bell icon so you will get the notification when I upload a video. And also, we are giving away free ebook to our first 10,000 subscribers. Please click the link below on the description box.